little late, but I'm answering some of your questions that came in when I asked, what do you have questions about? And one of you guys asked, there are so many platforms and there's so much I feel like I should and could be doing for my business. Where's the best place to spend my time? And my suggestions, first of all, is to pick one to two platforms to focus all of your energy on for at least one year before you add more to your plate, unless you have a team or a virtual assistant who can help you repurpose. And I, sol I usually recommend Instagram and Facebook, but it depends on your ideal clients. So most of my clients use Facebook and Instagram, but others really need to focus on YouTube because YouTube is such a search engine for people who are in fitness or in health, like how do I meal prep? How do I train my abs? All that stuff. YouTube is becoming really, really important for that kind of stuff. But the other tip that I would share is the best way, to, best way to really use your time on the social media platforms that you choose is through following up, building personal relationships, and having your strategy planned around booking calls with you and getting really good at strategy calls, assessment calls, nutrition consults, whatever it is that's free that allows you to get to know the client and um, see how you can best serve the client and lead the client to your program or your coaching. So that would be my suggestion, the, the best way to use your time. At the same time, you just have to ask yourself better, really, really good questions about if I were to book X clients this month, where would I start? What would I do? What gaps, what holes are there in my business? Like, do I need an email list? Do I need to set up, um, like plan my posts, etc. And what I think the most common mistakes are is number one, people don't leverage what they do put out. So if you do put out a really good post or you do put out a good pod a podcast or blog or send out a good newsletter, use it everywhere, repurpose it, follow up with the people who read it or check it out. I mean, it's more about doing less and really following it all the way through rather than going all over the place and not really following through with anything. I always say go deeper rather than wider. I learned that from my coach a long time ago. Last thing is I did develop two things that really guide my clients through finding clients and ha narrowing their focus. And then the second thing is all of these journal questions that led me to the best months in my business that I just had to keep asking and keep reframing. And I got down to the ideas and I got down to the execution and they, the, the questions are killer. So for the person who asked this question, I will send it to you. For those of you who do want those questions, let me know. Um, and we can talk more about the group program or private coaching on a free strategy call. I am off. Have a good night. I will answer the rest of the questions later this week.